mercy which ever falls upon us. There is a roundness to all things. The edges are dismissed by time. All men live in three spheres, the spheres of truth, of power, and of moral relationship toward God. Because of sin, abnormality has occurred in all these spheres. You come as prophet to reveal all truth, and as king in the sphere of power, and in the sphere of moral relationship between God and us. Christ is our priest. The offices, prophet, priest, and king, you are and will ever be unto us. You have intended to cause us to enclose Christ in our hearts from all sides, with all his features in the fullness of your offices. The verbs to carry this forward are knowledge, assent, and trust. We must live all three at all times. It is a path to our perfection, not in human idealistic ways, but in supernatural imposition. Christ is the anointed one, and we by entry of your spirit are to be made like you. Sin, guilt, corruption, organize these against us, a power in the world. Our restoration is by knowledge, righteousness, and holiness, restoring us to the image of you. Of none of these are we much capable, surely not to perfection. Yet it is said of us, and thus it shall come to be. And these which we will come to be are magnanimous and majestic. These shine in your underived splendor. Ours derived, but not in a mechanistic way. It may be thought of as due, like the manna of old, and of rain, the mercy which falls ever upon us. By these you bring us to an awareness of the covenant of grace and enduring fellowship. These offices toward us came through your human nature unto ours and are as to be like your person. We will, by sphere upon sphere of eternity, come to identify, intensify our personhood. The roundness is the ever completion of these cycles. The Holy Spirit makes the voice of the Logos resound inwardly in us, and to apply it, Christ is imminent to us through the Holy Spirit. Christ will be all to us. It is said he makes satisfaction for all who are his through sacrifice and intercession before God. We will be eternal witnesses of it. The world ahead simply cannot be imagined in the formation of our being. The certainty of it is our grateful prayer.